All right, what is going on, guys? Today I'm going to be showcasing 6T flip-flop designs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So the consoles, Windows 10, and Pocket Edition, I believe. This is just Bedrock Edition. So first of all, what is a T flip-flop? So as you can see, this is a lever. A lever stays on when we power it, and this is a button. When we push a button, it'll stay on, but then it shuts off after a period of time. Basically, what a T flip-flop does is it makes it when we push a button, it'll stay on until we push the button again, similar to a lever. So this is our first design right here. Very simple. We push the button. Uh, the piston will stay up until we push the button again then it will depower. So let's get into how to build this. Okay, so to build this design, what you want to do is you want to have a dropper facing up and do a dropper facing out this way. And then place another dropper on the bottom facing into the bottom dropper and face a hopper going into that dropper. And then you want to take your comparator output from down here and run that into a repeater. And then that, that's your output right there and that will, that's the entire build. So place a button right here and then throw one item in the bottom dropper of anything. And there you go, you push the button and the piston will stay powered forever until you push the button again, and then it turns off. It just looks a lot cleaner than a lever, so it's nice to have T flip flops. All right, so this next design is very similar to the last one. Once again, we push the button, and the piston will be powered down there. Then we push the button again, and the piston becomes unpowered. All right, so to build this one, what you want to do is you want to have your input, input block right here. You want to have that run into a repeater. Then you want to have a dropper facing up, and a dropper facing out this way into a hopper that goes back into this dropper down here. Then you want to have a block like this. Then you want to have a piston just like that. And you want to take your comparator output on top of this hopper just like that. And that's the entire build for that. Once again, you place one item in the bottom down here. Throw these melon seeds in. And then you push the button. And the piston gets powered. And it'll stay on until you push the button again and then it goes off. So that's the second design. Alright, so this is the next design. This one uses redstone torches to make the T flip flop. So let's get into how to build this one. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to have your power block. Or you want to place two blocks like this. And then place a button on this. This will be your power block. And then you want to face, place two redstone torches like that. And then have a dropper right here. Have a dropper going into that dropper. And then break this hopper and place it into that hopper. And then place redstone on top of both. And then just take an output from right here and run that into a piston. And then throw one item in here, and that's everything. That's the entire build. You push this, piston's on. You push it again, piston's off. So that's our third design. All right, so this is our next design right here. Once again, it uses droppers to make the T flip flop work. So let's get into how to build it. All right, so you want to have two droppers facing into each other like this. Then you want to have a button placed on that dropper right there. You want to take a comparator output from there and go into a block. And then that this will be your output, so... You can take a, a repeater and place it right here if you want to take it out. Place a piece of redstone right there and a block right there. And then throw one item in here and that's the entire build. It's in there, you push the button, it goes down. Press the button again, it goes up. And that's the fourth design. Okay, so this next design is very simple. This has been in the game forever. People have been using these for years. This is the most basic T flip flop, I guess, the oldest anyway. Press it, the water powers the, or lifts the boat up off the pressure plates and you take it off and the boat will fall on the pressure plates. So let's get into how to build this. So you need a dispenser for this one, not a dropper, it has to be a dispenser. Fill it with a water bucket and then place three pressure plates like this. Plus, place a button on the back of that. You can push that and spawn in the water. Then you'll take your outputs from these three pressure plates, just like this. And then all you want to do is simply spawn in a boat. Try to get it to hover over all three pressure plates if you can. And then once you press the button, the boat will fall, turn on all pistons, press it again, the boat will rise, and depower the pistons. So that's our fifth design. Okay, so now this is our last design. This makes use of observers. Press it, it's on. Press it, it's off. All right, so let's get into how to build this. All right, all you simply want to do is place two uh, regular pistons like this, two blocks apart. You can place a redstone block on any of those. Then you want to take your solid blocks and place them up here like this. Place two pieces of redstone like that with torches on either end. And your output can be right here or right here, whichever one you want. Then what you want to do is you want to come over here and have a sticky piston like this with an observer facing this way. Then all you simply want to do is place a stone button on the back of that sticky piston and then that's your entire machine. So you'll press it and it will toggle on and off that piston right there. So that's, that's our last design. That's all of them. That's uh, six different T flip flops in Minecraft Bedrock. These also work on Java though, but these are what you need to use on Bedrock. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Found it useful. Peace out. <laughs>